this is uh, Adam Gusso coming to you with uh, something that I'm calling fantastic Sonny Terry rhythm for, well, is it for beginners? Maybe I'm stretching a point. It's a fantastic rhythm that I learned. It's a Sonny Terry rhythm. So it's one of his uh, favorite rhythms. It's what you call a breakdown. It's kind of in a one, two, three, four, one, tucka, 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 one, tucka. So you're, you're clapping on the upbeat. You're clapping on two and four. One, two, three, four. It's really a square dance rhythm, and believe it or not, people who play this kind of music danced square dances. I know we think of blues as kind of a shuffle-driven thing, but this was a this was a breakdown. This was a, a square dance with people whirling in circles. And uh, in the Piedmont tradition, which is what Sonny Terry comes from, which is sort of North and South Carolina, the Piedmont is uh, sort of the break point in the mountains where the water comes over the cliff and you have uh, mills and and uh, there were a lot of mill workers who listened to this kind of music and uh, field workers, tobacco pickers and stuff like that. So what am I doing? Well, the first thing, you do not, you, this is not a rhythm that you want to play on a C harp. So you may notice that if you have a C harp and you've been trying to play along, it's not working. It's because I'm using an A. And for this kind of rhythm, for train rhythms and for this kind of breakdown, this kind of Sonny Terry rhythm, you need an A harp or a B flat. I'm using an A. B flat is, works fine, but a C is just a little too high for this kind of rhythm. So if all you got is a C, you're out of luck. But you know what? I'm going to tell you something. As a beginner, you need to have two harps. And if you're going to get two harps, I would get a C and an A. The C is kind of smack in the middle. It's, uh, it's sort of the one that most beginners get, but the A is like the second harp that you get, and every beginner should have two. You know why? Because you need to learn how to drive more than one kind of vehicle. So a Kia C harp is a, it's a mid-size American car, or even it's a compact. A, an A harp is a truck. It's a light truck. A G harp is a heavier truck, and those low Fs and stuff, those are just big, bad trucks. Anyway, you want an A harp, you want to make sure it's in tune. So what's the first step? Well, make sure, first of all, that you can do a one, two, three draw chord. Play hole one, play hole two, play hole three. Hopefully yours sounds something like that. By the way, if yours sounds like your, your lips are too, your jaw's too high, you want to lower it a little bit, make sure your lip is, lips are relaxed, but make sure the harp is in between your lips, not, but, all right, so I'm treating you like we're, we're kind of working beginner stuff here. So I, I hold the harp two different ways. Don't worry about how to hold it. Just know that I may switch back and forth because I kind of like the hand thing coming in and out like that. Okay, but that's, that's something you add later. Let's just start with the basics. So we're not going to start with... That's a lot of stuff going on at once. I'm here to try to break it down, and that means starting with something a little simpler. So, to draw. So the first move is to go ta. So I'm going ta on the to draw. I'm drawing, I'm using my tongue, I'm kind of touching it, ta, lightly against the roof of my mouth, sort of not too far from where my teeth join my upper jaw. Can you do that? Just go ta or da as you breathe in. Now, you do that, then you relax your lips so that instead of getting two draw, you get one, two, three. So actually, that's the first move, is just to go. And the key thing is that you've got to tongue the second one as well as the first one. Very, very important. So it's one breath. You're pulling one breath. Right? That's the breath. In fact, you might just play the chord. But you're tonguing it twice. And you're opening your lips to get go from a two draw to one, two, three draw between the first ta and the second. Now, if you can't do that, you're not going to be able to do this rhythm. If you can do that, you've got a chance at this rhythm. All right. So that's the first move. Second move is instead of going da da, go. So you're going to go da da on the second, and and it's a little bit different. It's not it's not da da da. And this is where it's important to think about when when harmonica teachers are trying to communicate what we're doing. We often talk in terms of syllables. So if I'm going da or ta. 
The second one is tucka. So what's tucka? Well, it's a little more percussive than da da. So if I was going da da da, that'd be da da da. But I'm going. So tucka. What I'm doing is I'm pulling my tongue. It's not just tapping my tongue lightly on the roof of my mouth, but I'm actually stopping the air for a split second. I'm going tuck. So go da tuck, and open your lips as you do. I go da duck, da ducka, and it's that duck ga. When you release that stop, it goes ducka. Try that. And the faster you go, the more it sort of makes sense. So I'm going da ducka. You can see how it suddenly comes together. If you can go da ducka, and then go. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm doing in there. So let me let me. I'm going to go da ducka. Now the first thing, the first stage one on the out breath, because that's what we're going to do is we've got to keep breath in and out. So stage one on the out breath thing would be huh to kind of blow huh p h u h huh to. But see what I do is I narrow on that first out breath breath. I narrow, and it's one breath out. But I narrow my lips so that I get just a two draw. So I'm going back. Da is just two draw. Is one two three draw. So I'm just going to go two blow. Hu pa, and then open my lips to make one two three blow. So the out breath is. Uh, it's there's not really syllables for this, but it's kind of puh. And when I go ah, uh, I now here I release my lips from the harp, so I let a little air out around the harp, not just through. So the out breath. So let me give you one cycle in breath, out breath. You see how this? If you break it down and do it sequentially, you can bit by bit actually do this rhythm. But I haven't showed you the hard stuff yet. <laughs> you ready? Okay, here we go. One cycle in and out. So it's da ducka, fa ha, fa. Well, that's it. The video's over. You. No, right. That's just the beginning, right? Because when I came on, I was going. And you know that. Is sort of one part of that kind of slowed down, but you know there's more to it because I haven't showed you the hardest part yet. I'm going to keep saying that until I show you the hardest part. But there is a hardest part, and it's the part, believe it or not, that Tony Little Son Glover talks about. I may have to put on my glasses in Blues Harp, the book that I got way back when. This is actually a copy I got in in the mid '80s, but I had a copy from '75 when I started playing the harp, and he had a Sonny Terry rhythm. And for the life of me, I could not understand what he was talking about. And it was like, anyway, it's one of these da did a ha ha da. That's right. There you go. Da did a ha ha da did a. And it's like, what is that? What what, what does he mean? What does he mean? It took me a while to figure it out. And I finally did one night sitting on my bed. I got it. So, so if if all you can do with this lesson is to come away with that, you're doing pretty well, and it's going to sound pretty good. Good. That's kind of. If I speed that up, and of course there's some variables. How hard you hit the tucka, but I haven't showed you the hardest part. So let's do the hardest part. The hardest part is something that I substitute the first time I do the blow stuff, and it sounds like this. What? That's like three card money. Sometimes my wife, who doesn't have very good eyes, you know, I say, "How many fingers am I holding up?" Right? What did I just do? 
So here's the thing you may notice, is that the second time through, I'm doing the thing I just showed you. The first time through, I'm doing something a little different on that out breath, and it's tricky. But let me see if I can, and it's tricky to break down. It's one of these things that when you try to break it down, it, it kind of falls apart, right? But here's what I'm doing. So the first thing you might notice is that I'm not just blowing when I'm doing the blow thing. And that's, that's one of the keys, one of the things that makes this, this baby work. So the out breath thing is, two, the out breath is two blow, two draw. Two blow, two draw. One, two, three, blow. And there's one more little thing added at the end. I haven't gotten to, that's the hard part. We're getting to the hard part. This is the hard part. So, two blow, and two draw. I'm gonna go ta-ta with my lips falling away from the harp. So that's it. So if you go and then do the part that I showed you at the beginning, you got it. Let me do it a little slower. Now you'll notice, if you watch my lips and watch how they're, they're constantly expanding and contracting, so the challenge of this is to kind of keep all that straight, to keep the groove, and, and so just watch what I'm doing. Now you see, the thing about blues harmonica, first of all, guys like me who can do this stuff usually don't want to just sit down usually can't sit down and carefully explain it and break it down, but often don't want to. There's a good reason for that, because in the old days, you know, you're trying to make a buck. People who invented this music, mostly African-American performers, although there was harmonica Frank Floyd, and there were some white guys who could do this stuff. Uh, 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 what's his name? Wayne Rainey, uh, you know, the, 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 the young man with the, the gimpy leg, the white boy from Arkansas, Wayne Rainey, could do the... Wayne Rainey, you got to check him out. R-A-I-N-E-Y, I think it is. But... Basically, it was poor people, working class people, who don't want to give it all away because if you do that, you don't have the gig. I'm just, I enjoy sharing stuff and I'm not worried about you stealing my gigs. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still outplay you. But I can show you this stuff and I think you'll appreciate it and mostly it's because it's so fun and I want to share that pleasure with you. So, Now, what I want to say is there's one moment in this rhythm that's the magic moment. And when I discovered it, it was like that was the secret. And it just felt so good. It was like such a trick. And it was that moment on the blow when you suddenly are drawing. It's that boom. It's like a little hiccup. There's some uh, uh, Brazilian kind of instruments that have that <laughs> sort of in and out. You get some of that. It's a weird. Now, that's the rhythm. All the add-ons, all the little, you know, the, 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 uh, the chili five ways kind of stuff with the onions and the cheese, that's the hand stuff. So I'm going to slap on two and four. So I'm going to tap my foot, one, one, three, it's like my foot's going one, three, one, two, three, four, that's the way to do it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, try that first before you get near the harp. One, two, three, four. Now of course when you speed it up,
that's all that Sonny Terry kind of like screaming baby stuff. Anyway, I think we're done on this. I'm calling this fantastic Sonny Terry rhythm for beginners. Well, you tell me. I have I did I break it down enough so you could actually do it? Good. There's more to come, and I will give you another lesson on this stuff at some point down the line. I this is the. Anyway, this is just old-fashioned shit. It really is. It's just old-fashioned playing. It's not the modern uh, amplified stuff that I really like to play, but this is cool stuff. And if you got nothing going on and you just want to keep a groove and a rhythm, it's good stuff. Anyway, hope you had fun. I'll see you down the line. And by the way, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, wherever you, whatever the button is. Subscribe, please. You'll get more stuff like this. See you down the line.